Right now, a search is underway on the Vermilion River in Lafayette. It is connected to the Daisy Lynn Landry case. Our Danielle Garcia is live along the Vermilion River at the Camellia Boulevard Bridge with more. Danielle. Jim Marce Marcel, officials are finishing up the last search of this area on the Vermilion River. Earlier today, cadaver dogs have alerted at the area, but they have yet to find anything in the spot. They earlier used boats to pick up pile of debris, and they're alternating their divers throughout the day. But since there is almost no visibility and the current is strong, they have to switch their divers often. The divers say the pile of debris in the water is about 15 to 20 feet high. They actually learned on Sunday there could be human remains in the area, but today was the first day where the weather conditions allowed the dive crew to search. On Sunday, two volunteer groups stumbled on this spot when they were out searching in relation to the Daisy Lynn case. Those groups were going down the Vermilion River to a different spot when their dogs that are trained in picking up the scent of human remains barked and actually jumped out of the boat. In total, four dogs have alerted officials to this area which they say is almost unheard of. We had two different dogs come out today and give a positive indication of some kind of, of human remains. The likelihood that it's a false positive is very low according to the dog handlers, but it can be uh, a part of a, of a human remain. It doesn't necessarily mean we have an entire human body down there. The sheriff says they're going to keep searching this area until all of it is exhausted and they will keep following tips as they come in. For updates, head to KTC.com. Live in Lafayette, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. From the KATC Weatherland, here's Rob.